So, what's our topic for today? Oh, just a minute. Ooh. Okay. So, where was I? Oh, yeah. Ooh, the topic for today. Hold on just a second. Okay, today, oh yeah, the topic for today, Ecuador, is it perpetual spring? Here's your story, let's begin, the world is fine, come on, dive in, the future's here, it's right before you. So my, my plan was to come out here and uh, do this little thing out here on my second floor patio, but I had to get under the, the roof, maybe even a little more, as um, of course it's raining. So what is the weather really like? Well. I'll remind you that in upstate New York we've had snowstorms in June. So the point is weather everywhere is kind of up in the air. In Ecuador we're a little spoiled in that the weather is usually pretty consistent. It usually doesn't vary much more than 10 or 12 degrees and it's usually reasonably warm and while we get rain throughout the year the rain generally comes in a short rainfall in the afternoon maybe in the evening and for the most part we get sunny days with with some exceptions and this is the rainy time of the year but we're being affected big time by El Nino and that's bringing warm moist water up the ocean right up the valley from Machala through Yungia Valley dumping it right here in Hiron on its way to dumping it in Cuenca so the good news is uh, well some of the year on, on a lot of years we have a little drought situation we certainly don't have a drought situation in the background there's a lot of noise, a lot of noise, which is really the river down below and the waterfall up on the mountain. I wear t-shirts every day, literally every day. But today, I've got my long sleeve t-shirt on. And I actually put a coat on. And um, if I'm going to watch TV tonight, I'll probably bundle up with a couple blankets. It's pretty chilly. Now, what is pretty chilly? It's about 50 degrees, 52 degrees, somewhere in there. 12 degrees uh, Celsius, I think it said on my phone. It's uh, 14 Celsius in Cuenca. It's 20 in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's 16 in Rochester, New York. So, 
this is this is a relatively speaking kind of cool. I've been in such nice weather for so long that I hate to admit it, but I'm actually a little chilly today between the moisture and and the cool. And that's somebody who through most of my life could go outside at 32 degrees in a t-shirt and think it was a balmy day because it's not 20 below. So is it perpetual spring? Yeah, it is. Given the idea that spring is not summer, it's and it's certainly not winter. So with a few exceptions you may get every decade or something, you do not need heat. Now you can choose to, in your bedroom, maybe throw in one of those little portable ceramic heaters or something on some nights, but do you need it? No. Um, just curl up with a nice comforter. There are nights where it's kind of, kind of warm and you kick the blankets off. The temperature generally runs the high 60s up to about 80, almost to 80, maybe 78. So 68 to 78 is probably 99% of the time is what the temperature is. And that's pretty nice weather. You don't need air conditioning. You certainly don't need air conditioning. You do have to be careful on a sunny day being out in that sun. It's direct heat. The sun is closer here than it is in North America. And it can cause you a serious burn. You're getting much stronger doses and a greater amount of the UV rays than you do in a lot of places, let alone that you're seven, eight, nine thousand feet above sea level, which adds to it because as the air gets thinner, you have less atmosphere screening, though that radiation, and you're going to be hit with more of it. So it is definitely something to be concerned with. Like I told you in one of my videos, that's how I got this Panama, aka Ecuador hat. The sun can be fierce. So what do you what do you bring when you're coming here? A sweater, a jacket, maybe a rain jacket, and the rest of it can just be t-shirts, pants, that sort of thing. You're never going to wear shorts in Cuenca because you'll stand out like a sore thumb because nobody wears shorts. If you're going to go to the coast, you can wear shorts. But it's really, it's almost a laughing matter to see somebody walking around in shorts. Yeah, so, and you don't really need shorts uh, walking around in, in Cuenca. So, so when you pack up, you want to bring those things. I would bring four or five good pairs of shoes, boots, a pair of sneakers. Um, the biggest problem with shoes is getting something in your size. The, the weather is usually nice. For three going on four months, I've been talking about it raining every day. And except for maybe two days, I, haven't, I, I wasn't keeping track. I probably should have. There might have been two days where it didn't rain. Even in that video recently where I'm out here and the sun's shining and I'm talking about how beautiful it was, come 3.30 that afternoon it was raining. So since January, there may have been one or two days where it didn't rain. I don't remember what those were, if they were. It's basically, it's rained every day, highly unusual. If you just got here, don't be discouraged it's simply an El Nino effect that comes around every decade or two. This happens to be the all-time record breaker. We're just soggy. We're, our feet are wet all the time. You know you're cool.